it's me, AMC me, and we're back with part two of Marry My Husband, and we're just about to jump right into it. I hope you had a great day. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by. Um, if you've been watching the drama, please let me know if you've watched it. If you read the webtoon, please let me know. So episode two starts with um, Jiwon getting to work in the morning and she sees her best friend and she wants to avoid her, but the bitch seen her. So <laughs> she has to get on the elevator with her because she's seen her flirting with their crappy boss. I don't remember this man's name. We're just going to call him <sighs> crappy boss. <laughs> Um, misogynist. I mean, there's all types of names we can call him. I'll look into it. <laughs> but for now, I can't stand him. And I don't want to give his name. Um, I just call him shitty boss. So she's flirting with the shitty boss at the elevator. And Jiwon's like not trying to be a part of it. But she sees her so that all three of them get on the elevator. And right when the doors are about to close, Min Hwan, like, sticks his hand in the elevator so he can get on too. And they're all, like, shook. And he, like, stares at Jiwon. And she's, like, because everybody else had said good morning. And they, like, bow. They're, like, oh. And she's, like, oh, good morning. And, uh. He like looks at her and then he like turns around and gets on the elevator and uh, the shitty boss starts talking crap um, about Min Wan or not Min Wan. He wouldn't definitely wouldn't talk crap about him about um, Ji Wan's business proposal that she gave to him the um, that day the yesterday and he shot it down. It seemed like a great idea as for like a single single meal plan for single people. Like something easy. So, because there's lots of single people and they don't want to be cooking like meals. They just want something quick and simple. Um, and he shot it down. Didn't even give it a chance. And he was like, well, you're terrible. So I hope you do better this time. And then he just starts talking. He's like, actually, all women are terrible. And he starts talking shit. And Min Hwan like slams his hand on the elevator. And he, he immediately shuts up. And the rest of the ride on the elevator, peaceful. <laughs> As it should be. Because why would you be on the elevator saying, why would you even open your mouth? <sighs> Let's not act like people aren't shitty like that. But it's just so blatant and it was disgusting. I wanted to jump through the TV and rip his little strands, straggly strands of hair out his head. But anywho, um, they have a quiet ride and he's the first one to rush off the elevator. The shitty, the shitty boss. <laughs> and, um, oh, he was talking crap because she got coffee. Jiwon had gotten a coffee before she came into the office because there's a better coffee place across the street than at their building. And he was saying, oh, so you're just being lazy, wasting company time, going to get coffee. And that's when he's that's when he went into his little diatribe about people being lazy and shitty. And he shut that shit down. But he calls for her when she was about to get off the elevator and he um, they go up to the rooftop and he was like, um, and she's like, oh, what's the matter? Did you want to say something to me? And he was like, no, he was like, drink your coffee. And she was like, oh, do you want it? And he's like, no, just drink your coffee. He's like, I just want you to be able to enjoy it and not feel like it's the biggest heart headache in the world. For you to want to enjoy some coffee for yourself. I know he's going to give you a hard time. Just stand up here and just finish your coffee. Or drink your coffee. And she's like, uh, she's like, oh, thanking him. And they're up on the rooftop. She tells him, 
that she decided not to quit. Like she's not quitting the company since he'd seen her in the bookstore that one day. And she showed him the ten ten thousand dollar wand, and she said, uh, she showed him the blue heart, and she said, every time my dad would give me a, a an allowance, he would put in put a heart on it. And she said, I would always tell him to stop, but he can't. He's artistic, and um, he can't suppress his artistic soul. And she's like, I'm the kind of daughter that received this kind of father fatherly love, fall fatherly love and she said she's going to try harder at work now and because she's just been trying to get by for so long she forgot what she basically wanted in life and she really liked that he said that she was talented and him saying that is what made her um make up her mind that she was going to stay with the company And now she's going to go after what she wants now because she doesn't want to live how she lived before. And he like smiles at her when she says that. And she gets shocked. She's like, what? Did you smile? I've never seen you smile. It looks really good. And he like, <laughs> she like laughs and he like looks away. And he is like, he like looks at her again and he's like, um, what are you doing this weekend? And before that, I don't know when it was mentioned. I think it was last episode, but I wasn't paying that much attention. But her friend, uh, Sue Min, invited her out to barbecue, um, to this new barbecue restaurant. And after uh, Min Huan invites her to do something that weekend, Su Min pops up out of the hell hole, <laughs> out of the depths of hell. I don't know where her ass came from, but she was stalking, being nosy. Um, and she's like, oh, no, she already has plans with me. She's like, did you forget? I'm going to get mad if you did. Like doing that a go. I'm like, ew. <laughs> and, um. He was like, and he repeats the place, like the city where it's at. And he was like, oh, okay. And she's like, oh, have you heard about this place? Sue Min. She's like, oh, have you heard about this place? It's supposed to be really good. And he was like, uh, I vaguely remember hearing about it. And he was like, well, and she's like, well, we're going to go back to work. And she like loops her arm into Ji Wan's and basically forces her to come back down to work with her. And after they leave, he, like, calls somebody. When he gets back down to his office, he, like, gets on the phone to call somebody to ask about that restaurant. And he was like, is there a class reunion there? And they're like, oh, yeah, there is one scheduled to be here for um, a certain high school. And he pulls up uh, Ji Wan's. Uh, resume and he sees that she went to that same high school that they're having the reunion at so yes Su Min is planning to make um Jiwon look stupid at this class reunion is what it seems like it's about to happen and he um and he like looked into it and figured out what was about to go down um and then finally, uh, Ji Hyuk got <laughs> Ji Wan to like talk to him because she went to go, she went and gave some medicine to the boss because he had that injury because of her. So she gave him some um, like, not Neosporin, but like a uh, cream like Neosporin and some Advil or aspirin to take for it. And he was like, no. He was like, you should take care of yourself first. And he broke it in half, like the packaging. She knows it has that metal packaging. He broke it in half and gave some to her. And she's like, oh, thank you. And they, and then she goes back to her office. And Ji Hyuk gets, hears this. And he was like, come meet me. Come talk to me. And she's like, 
I can't keep avoiding him. So, um, cause after the thing, after he like tries to beat her up and she got that ride home from the police, she hadn't talked to him from the previous episode. So she's like, okay. And they go into the like storage area and he like pulls her in there and he was like, is that why you wanted to break up with me? So you could get with Min Juan. She's like, he's not even that great. I told you that you need to look first, this kind of type of man. And he's, she's like, she's just looking at him like, I know all about you now, buddy. You're a piece of shit. And she's like, no, no. And she's like, she apologizes in her head to Min Huan because she's like, no, he just wanted me to get him some medicine. And he was like, oh, I'm going to go talk to him. He shouldn't be having you do stuff. She's like, oh, no, no, it's okay. And uh, then she started doing Ayo. And when she did it, I felt deep in my soul that if I, if I, if I were to do it, this is exactly how um, embarrassing and awkward it would be. She tried, she used it on him and it worked. Like he loved it. And she's like, no, I just don't think you've been paying enough attention to me. And he's like, oh yeah, you think so? And she's like, ugh. And um, she's like, but we can go back now. And then when she tries to leave, he tries to push her up um, onto the um, storage shelves to try and make out with her. And she's like feeling with her hand. <laughs> she's looking for something to hit him upside the head with. But her other coworker, the older lady, um, Duran, she busts in and saves them and she's like has the wrench like she's about to post like she's about to crack his head and the crack him in the skull and she like puts it down when she's like oh, when she sees they got saved and he's like oh we're we're done here we're done here and he rushes out and she stops jiwan and she was like it's not okay for somebody to do unwanted physical skinship with you it doesn't matter if they're somebody you're dating or not she was like trust me I know I had a similar relationship to that and she's like you're smart and I don't want that to happen to you too and um Jiwon is like I want to help her basically when that happens she was like I want to help her she deserves to be in the position that our crappy manager is in because basically he berates her, Ju, uh, Juan, uh, Juran, sorry, Juran. He berates her so much that she has no confidence in herself um, that she can do any better than what she currently can. Um, and she like shelves that idea um, because when they get back, he comes the manager gets up and says it's lunchtime let's all go it's lunchtime and uh sue sue min's like oh i want to go to this turkish place and ji wan's like oh i can't go i don't have any money she's like jin hyuk <laughs> ji hyuk why don't you take sue min to go eat so and so and she's like she's like i'm gonna go to the cafeteria they have uh stir fried pork and um Su Min's like, no, that's okay. If you're going to get stir-fried pork, I can get some too. And she's like, okay. <laughs> so they all go to the cafeteria to go eat. And while they're going there, Jiwon sees Su Min packing all this food onto her tray. And she gets a flashback from the past where the last time that happened, Su Min turned around really fast and shoulder checked Jiwon and she actually fell and all of her food fell on her and Jiwon or not Jiwon, Su Min tried to act like she was being helpful and she comes up to her. I'll insert a clip. I'm going to insert a clip so I'm just talking and she like dumps all of her food on her while she's bending over acting like she's saying are you okay? <sighs> Terrible. So when that point comes again current time uh, she sidesteps her and trips her ass. And I was like, yes, get that bitch. And um, she actually falls onto Ji Hyuk and gets his designer shirt 
filthy. Like, I think it was, it was kimchi. So that shit is fucked up. It was a white shirt. <laughs> and she had that shit piled high. And she's like apologizing and all this stuff. And, um, Jiwon's like, oh, I'll be right back. I'm going to run to the bathroom. Because she's like, I was gonna, I'm going to get some paper towels for you. Or napkins. And when she goes in there, she hears somebody saying, hey, is there anybody in there? Can you help me? Um, I need, and Jiwon's like, do you need a, some napkins? Like a pad. And she's like, oh, yes, how did you know? And she's like, oh, it's okay. I'll be right back. I'll bring you some. So she brings... Um, she brings her some and she checks her because you know sometimes you know when your period start and you don't have nothing you might get that bleed through and I, that happened to her she had white pants on too y'all it always 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 when you got some fucking light pants on um, <laughs> but she had the she had a sweater for her and she took it and she wrapped it around her waist for her and she's like oh my god you're such an angel thank you so much thank you thank you you're my hero and guess who it was Uh, it was the younger coworker. It was he Yoon. She was like, thank you. She was like, somebody else came in here and I tried to ask them for help and they just grumbled about me not knowing how to uh, take care of myself or I should have figured it out myself and they just left. And she's like, oh, well, I'm happy I was here to help you. Do you want to go come and eat with us? Like eat with her crew? And she's like, sure. And it goes to all four of them eating and, um, we see our girl, um, Hyeon, girl got an appetite, which I appreciate. She was d devouring her food, okay? You could tell she really enjoyed it. And um, Su Min, being a bitch, was talking shit. She's like, damn, you really know how to eat. And she's like, just like Jiwon, she could stomach steal. Like, just making these, like, digs at her. And she's like, uh, and then Ji Hyuk is like, oh, but look, look how little you eat. Are you able to have enough energy? And um, he yawns like, yep, my grandpa said that if you want to work hard, you got to make sure you have enough, you've eaten enough to give you enough energy. He yawn picks up real quick. She picked up real quick that Su Min is a piece of shit. And um, when Ji Won starts choking and wants to get needs some water. She gets up and she's like, "Oh, I'll go get you some water." And Su Min's like, "Oh, can you get me some too?" And Ji Hook's like, "Yeah, me too." And she is like, "Why? Do you want me to do your job for you too?" And she walked off, and I was like, "Yes, girl, burn." Um, and then when she walked away, Su Min's tried to talk, stop, talk shit about her, and Ji Won's like, "Uh, oh, stop. She's young." Okay, but y'all are both equal because they're both Jiwon's, um, Jiwon and uh, Ji Hyuk. They're actually assistant managers already at the company. Su Min got her job um, as a contractor, so she doesn't really have a permanent position there. And so does Hyun. So she's like, no, you guys are equal. She was like, don't talk about her like that. And uh, Su Min was taken aback because G Jiwon never talks to her like that. And Jiwon caught herself. She's like, oh, I mean, I'll talk to her. She doesn't know any better. <laughs> and then she's like, I'll be right back. And she goes to go talk to her. She was like, Hyun's like, that was her. I know it. That Su Min... That Suman girl, she's the one who didn't want to help me when I was in the bathroom stall. And that, and they like, they walk with each other back to their, uh, back to the office, and they leave Suman and Ji Hyuk there. And Suman looks pissed, like she's super jelly. She's like, 
oh, she thinks she can have other friends other than me. Basically, like, you ever see that movie Single White Female? She was given single white female vibes. Like that person that is your best friend and then they want to be you, so they try to kill you. <laughs> Those are the vibes she was giving. Okay, so she left them to go to eat by themselves. And because she did, they left together to go ride on the elevator right at the end of lunch. So, you know, it's super crowded and everybody's trying to crowd onto the elevator and they got smushed together. And guess what Sue Min did? This hoe. Get on the elevator together and they get pushed together and she tries to act all cute and she pokes him in the chest saying, oh, my hands, you can put them down by your side, okay? We know what you're doing. And he's trying not to touch her at all but then, um, <laughs> while they're riding in the elevator, more people get on. So they get even closer uh, together. And she has the nerve to lean forward and ask him, what perfume do you use? Whispering it in his, in his ear. And uh, she is like, oh, it smells nice. And then after lunch, that's when Jiwon gets the idea to help uh, the older co-worker, Juran, that's been berated so much by her boss that she doesn't even want to try. She gives her her proposal and asks her to look at it, the one that he turned down the previous day about the single meal plan. And then it cuts to... Um, Min Huan going to some restaurant and looking for some guy who's a chef and from what it seems like I think this guy is gonna be the one that plays her first love. Baek Eun-ho, Baek Eun-ho, played by uh, Lee Ji Huan. We don't really see him speak to him other than asking what his name is and it cuts back to Ji Won and uh Hey Yan hanging out after work and they go get some desserts. Or actually, I think they went to go get desserts instead of coming back to work right away. And she gave that opportunity for Su Min and Ji Hyuk to get closer. <laughs> While they're eating dessert with each other, He Yan asks if she could take Ji Won out to um, thank her for helping her with her bathroom situation. And she's like, uh, I would love to, but I have a class reunion that I'm going to be going to this weekend. And she's like, oh, well, maybe we can do something before so we can get you all dressed up and look pretty so you can see your first love and then be disappointed when you see them. <laughs> and I was like, girl, ain't that the truth? <laughs> she runs into her boss on the way back to her office and she asks him, hey, if what you need if you need me to work this weekend because she thought that's what he was asking her what she was doing this weekend she was like if it's if it's for work i can cancel if you need help and he was like no it's okay um just go with do what you go do with your plans do what you need to do and she's like oh okay and she goes back to the office and guess who's taking longing looks at her again man juan that's like boy you you like her you really like her okay we'd have figured it out too quick <laughs> g1 goes up to juran ask her about her meal idea su min sees it and she gets jealous and she was like Oh, they're going to work together, but she's not going to work with me to help me get a full-time position at the company. She's going to work with her. So she goes to loser, shitty boss, and asks him for help by flirting with him as is the only way she can get ahead and work instead of actually doing her job, I guess. Jiwon gets Juran to agree to work with her by saying, hey, if I show him the same proposal that I gave him yesterday and he turns it down again. You got to work with me. And she was like, she's, and she's like, Oh, I don't know. And she was like, I'll tell you this right now. He never 
looks at our proposals. He just starts berating them as soon as he lays eyes on them because he thinks putting people down and being shitty to them is what makes somebody a boss. And that's what makes them powerful. And she was like, if he doesn't recognize that this is the same thing I gave him yesterday, we're going to we're going to work together and we're going to kill this because you yourself said it's a great idea. And she was like, finally, she's like, OK, I, I'll do it. If he if he can't recognize it's the same thing, word for word, same graphs. OK. So after that, and we see that Sue Min, who gets jealous that they were going to be working together, goes to loser boss and asks him if they can hang out that evening so he can help her get some ideas on a good proposal. It go, it cuts back to Jiwon. The only thing she changed is the colors of the proposal, but everything else word for word, graph for graph, everything, same order, everything the same. Gives it to him. He acts like he's reading it, of course. And he throws it on the up in the air on the ground. He was like, what the hell is this shit? He was like, the previous one you gave me was better than this. And Jiwon was like, oh, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. That's the same one that I gave you last time. And everybody in the office starts whispering and laughing at him like this motherfucker can't even tell that. It's basically that she gave him the same thing as last time. And he's saying that it's worse when than the one that she gave <laughs> the day before. But it's the same one. And she's like, oh, no, no. Here's the here's the one that I was supposed to show you. And he was he like he's like. It's all right. <laughs> When that happens, her and Juran make eye contact and she's like, yeah, we're about to kill this shit. And then it cuts to after work where Su Min and the shitty boss are um, at a restaurant eating. They're at a uh, Korean barbecue place where they're getting, um, they're eating again. They're eating, she's eating pork again and he makes a comment about it. Um, and she says she starts she talks shit about Jiwon saying Jiwon talks shit about him to her um saying that she doesn't think he's a good boss and all this stuff but that's just the general consensus of everybody at work we don't see Jiwon ever saying that to Su Min maybe she might have mentioned it before but the fact that she's even saying it to him we already know what her intentions are. She was like, maybe we should take that proposal for ourselves. I think it'd be a really good idea, but you know, she's just going to ruin it. And he was like, hmm. And then it stops. That storyline, that part of it's done for that episode. And I'm like, oh, is she really going to try and steal my girl's idea? And then after that part, it cuts to, they were drinking, mind you. Su Min and the shitty boss, they were drinking. And then it cuts to her boyfriend, Ji Hyuk, and his friend, they're at the bowling alley, bowling alley, um, hanging out. And he's lamenting to his friend about how he wants to get with her friend. She's so hot, but he can't do it because it's her friend. Does he have any friends that he can hook up with? Because Jiwon's so boring. She's just marriage material. But she's no fun. Don't break up with her, stupid. He tries to flirt with these girls and they're like, ew. <laughs> and it was hilarious. He thought it was so cool. I forgot to mention Jiwon towards the end of her shift. She had a bag on her desk and it was a gift from Su Min and it was these earrings. Not very cute. Not very cute earrings at all. But she told her to wear them on Sunday to the reunion which passed. Jiwon just thought it was for them to go out. She just wanted her to wear them to go out to eat. When um, 
G Wan's about to leave for work, she gets a message from her boyfriend saying, hey, can I come over tonight? Or no, she invites him. He said, can he come over? And she was like, shh. But then Su Min says, you've been ignoring me. I'm coming over to your house. And she tells, she tells Jin Hyuk, Ji Hyuk, yeah, come over. I even got some beer in the fridge for you. You can drink that while you wait for me. Trying to find the perfect opportunity for these two little disgusting lovebirds. She went to the convenience store to buy some whiskey and she was planning it. She was planning to leave it there. But when she got home, she realized that motherfucker beat her home. He was too excited. Ji Hyuk, he was drinking with his friend too at the bowling alley. So when he got there, he was already in the shower getting ready. Okay. So she was like, God damn it. And while she was um, trying to text, what's her name to see if she's coming? She said she's not coming anymore because she didn't use emojis in her text back to her because she used emojis. <laughs> so she's like, no, I'm not coming anymore. Hmm. And she, before that, when Jiwon's leaving, she runs into Min Hwan. She ran into him in the lobby while she's leaving. And he was like, he's like looking at her and she's like looking at him and she's trying to figure out what he's looking at. And she's like, she has her gift that she got from Su Min and she like puts her head down and she's like, oh, this, it was a gift from my friend. And he was like, um, that's a replica. That's not authentic. And it cuts to the past where she's at work and she has those earrings on and the boss told her then he was like I don't like those earrings you would look better in something else and he was like they're those are fakes and she she got pissed in the past because she thought she he was just mean but he was telling her the truth and then um yeah, but he tells her they're not, those are, those are not authentic. Those are, um, those are fakes and they're not very good ones. People can spot right away that they're not, they're not authentic. And it, um, and he's telling the truth because then it goes to the flashback of her going to that barbecue place to go hang out with Sue Min. And it's when she gets there is she finds out that it's the reunion and I'll insert the clip for that, but basically, Jiwon didn't have any friends in school because she got bullied, unfortunately, like all through high school. And I think Su Min had something to do with it because um, she runs into one of the bullies and they give her a hard time. Um, and Su Min sees her and runs up to her so she can't escape. Um, and she goes to hide in the bathroom, but then the bullies find out she's in there and they basically like treat her like shit. Uh, and they even talk about the earrings saying that they're fake. And they're like, oh, she's just trying to copy off a of Sue Min. She's such a loser. Look at her. She looks so broke because she didn't know it was a reunion. So she just went with a hoodie and I think it's like some jeans or some shorts, but she still had those ugly earrings on because Sue Min told her to wear them. Because they definitely did not go with that outfit. Um, after he tells her about the earrings. And he asks her if she wants a ride home. And she says no. And he asks again. He was like, I would really like to give you a ride home. And she's like, no, that's okay. I need to go home to my boyfriend. And he's like, okay, just be safe. And um, she goes home. And that's when she finds out Su Min's ass is not going to show up. Because she was mad. Cause she's a little brat <laughs> and her boyfriend comes out of the bathroom after she finds this out she's like god damn it i can't escape in his towel nothing on but his towel and she was like um she tried to get out of it but he like pushes her down on the bed ew and she's like disgusted as she should be and um, he like whips his towel off and it's so fucking funny. She lets out an audible scream. 
And that's basically how the episode ends. So this episode is, I already told y'all in the first one, um, this, I just loved it. Okay. This one was even better because we're seeing like more stuff. Um, unfortunately, only the one, only the one encounter worked, um, where she tried to get them together, like her best friend and her boyfriend. And that was the elevator scene. I think if they would have met that night, something definitely would have went down. But unfortunately, it didn't happen. Um, the the ending with her screaming when he like whipped his pants off like he was about to. I don't think she's going to sleep with him. But yeah, that part was funny as fuck. Again, zoom in outfits on point. The one outfit, I'll insert a picture of it. She has this white ruffly shirt and this black ruffly uh, skirt with these shoes. Adorable. That's it. It's like as far as the fashion. I think the fashion is going to be getting better sooner. So that's one of my predictions for the future. In the um, trailer, it looks like our girl Jiwon does go to the reunion. Okay. And it looks she like she went and got a little makeover. So she's about to go in there and make Suman look stupid, which I cannot wait for. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I can, I'm just so excited to see her get her comeuppance like she deserves. Um, I want to know what Min Juan said to that guy, um, that chef that he went to go see. Because I think the chef is her first love, but we don't have confirmation yet because they haven't said what his name is yet. Um, the only thing we know is Ji Wan said to um, He Young, the younger co-worker, is that he disappeared and she hasn't talked to him since. So she has no idea where he is. She don't think she doesn't think he'll even show up at the reunion. So she's just like, that's another reason why she doesn't want to go besides that she got bullied again because of Su Min. Um, I also predict, I want, I, pre, I, I hope she breaks up with her boyfriend in the next episode. I hope it's the next uh, episode three or episode four. I hope she breaks up with him. Um, I think, and they kind of make it seem like Su Min and Ji Hyuk might actually hook up in episode three. Um, Cause it looks like Su Min, she may have got, I think she's going to get, she's going to get eviscerated. I hope at this reunion, but we'll see. Um, again, let me know if you've watched any of the episode one or two let me know if you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up a comment and subscribe if you're enjoying the content i know i only got like two this is the second new video that i've posted in on a very long time other than like shorts for my twitch but anyways or you can also follow me on twitch as well um i stream sundays at 10 a.m and Mondays at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's also AMC me. But yeah, I hope you have a great day, night, evening, whatever time it is for you. And I hope I will see you again with uh, some recaps on episode three and four. And yeah, have a great day. Bye. <laughs>